Hello everyone, my name is April Choi and today I'm going to make a whip tutorial on how to start the overlay onto a whip. Um, this is going to be a speed whip for Jack-Jack and this video tutorial is for Dan Harris in Minneapolis. So we started with a graphite handle, then we put our core inside and then we already did our belly and then we did a bolster with uh, athletic tape over the belly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take your, all your strands from your overlay I've already decored them, so take off the little stuff on the inside. This is 550 paracord, and then we're going to find the halfway points of all of these, and that's where we'll start next. So to get the clean start of the whip, we need to first get our strands, which are all set out right here. We're going to use black and white strands to make this a little bit easier. Once you find the middle point of each one of your strands, the way you're going to start this, you're going to start with your middle two strands, and you're just going to open them up into like a V, well, an A from your perspective, it'll open up like this. You'll notice this left-hand side is going over this one. So when you do the next one right next to it, you have this A, and you're going to do the same thing as in your checkerboard pattern, which is go under and then over. So now you have this checkerboard. And the same thing on the other side. Since you're coming down at this angle, you want to go over, under, over, and it's the opposite of what this one does. Since this goes over here, you want this strand to go underneath this section. So you go over here, under here, over here. And you can do this in your hands, but it's a little bit easier to see it once it's down on this against a nice backing. So for this one, we're going over, under, over, under. And then for this one over here, we're going under, over, under, over, under, and there. So at least from this point upwards, we should have all of our strands opened up. And this is what it will look like in the end. So once you get it to like this position, the next thing you want to do is start tightening all this up, and then you can hold this all in your hands. So now we have our handle and the start that we had beforehand. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our handle, we're going to leave it at the side for right now. We're going to take all these pieces and we're going to try and tighten this up. So I'm holding the top of the strand all the way on my right side as well as holding the top of the strand all the way on my left. So then when I tighten this up, those are only two points that are really hanging and it holds my whip together, or the start of the whip together. I then take this entire piece and I place it over this section, right where I want the start of my whip to be. And then I take this and I bring it all the way around the back and start exactly the way I would for or the checkerboard. So I go under, over, under, over, under, over. Bring the strand to the right hand side. Then take this section, bring it on the right hand side and go under, over, under, over, under, over, and bring it on the left. And then we continue doing that until we have a few more steps done. So once you get everything tightened up, this is kind of what the start looks like. And then to continue, all I'm doing is I'm taking a strand from one side. So in this case, the last thing that crossed over was this white one right here. So I'm going to take this piece on this right side, bring it all the way around and underneath the top three and over the bottom three. This is known as a whip maker's plait, and that comes tightened first, then comes over the top of that. So then on the other side, I take this piece right here. I'm lifting three of these pieces, tightening on the left hand side, bring it all the way down and around. And then you just keep doing that, and that's how you start your whip. Thank you very much.